of the lab, you're actually going to take your color flame candles that I ask you to purchase as part of your kit, and you're going to need some aluminum foil and a lighter or a match. And what you're going to want to do is um, you could actually, I'm going to tear this in smaller pieces here. So that's about the size of the piece I have for the aluminum foil. You're going to want to take one of the candles, and one of the ones we're going to be doing is going to be the uh, darker pink one or the red one and so I've been playing with my candles already some of them are already burnt so this would be the lighter pink that's what I'm calling pink and this is what I'm calling red and uh, they both look kind of pink but this one is more red anyway <clears throat> and I'm just going to uh, grab it by the end and twist the aluminum foil around the base of the candle Oop such that when I set it down, the candle stands up. And there you can see my candle is standing up there. Um, and you're going to want, so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on a plate because uh, the plate will create a surface that is non-flammable around this. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to light the candle on fire and uh, we're going to be in a very dark room. Um, completely dark is best, and if you have to, you can do this after dark. Uh, I'm going to be going into one of my closets in the next video. To light the candle, I'm going to close the door, and then I'm going to attempt to, with my uh, spectrometer, capture an image of the spectrum of the candle flame. That's what we're doing next.